guys, this is Jake from State Fun, and we've got a problem. We're in the middle of our final trim out, and we've had a lot of storms and found some water issues and discoloration up here on the air conditioner. So then we're like, what the heck? Why has it got such a problem? Well, that air conditioner weighs a lot. And the roof up here, it dips in a little bit towards the AC and allows all the storm water to it. So it just sits there, bypasses our water seal because I mean, water against the water seal for long enough will eventually get through and drips inside. So what we're gonna have to do is we're actually probably gonna have to pull down this sheet right here, pull the air conditioner bottom out, take the top off and support this more and build it up in the center so that we actually have a little bit of a slant outward so that the water has somewhere to go. I'm thinking steel brackets alongside the aluminum ones that I've got. And then I'll take probably some two by one and build a square around the center section here that lifts that section up, put it in between the 10. That way it has an outward angle. A Little bit of a disappointment, but figured I'd bring y'all along for the ride because I did it wrong in the first place. What can you do? I'm a redneck engineer. Sometimes you just have to redo it. Let's go get some materials. Well guys, line. I'm not gonna go get materials yet. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull this off. Pull, probably pull this board down and then we'll get an idea of what's actually there. We're probably gonna end up with a lot of water dripping in because we were spraying water on top trying to figure out if it was rainwater or condensation. Hey, Angry Dingus, I brought your skylight back. When that comes out of your installation, it's not a good thing. What was probably happening, sitting like this, water comes towards the air conditioner, goes into the drain plugs or drain of the condensate area, gets into that, goes through the bolt holes that bolt this thing down. So it's past the water barrier by going through the drain and then goes through the bolt holes, runs down the bolt and hits the fiberglass insulation that was right here and just soaks into that. So that was fun. I'm going to wring out my insulation. Well guys, it went up to Lowe's and they only had six foot and four foot sections of steel. And the stretch from this side to that side is, well, 78 inches, which is more than six feet. But I don't want to take this board down. So I'm going to use a four foot piece and cut off the excess and go from the wall to our square bracket here on both sides and then use that excess weld it onto a six foot piece, use it on this support that I do have access to the back side of. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a second support right across the middle here, because that had a good bit of a dip. So a little bit more support would not be a bad thing. Right at perfection. If it fits, it fits. Will it fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? All right, let's see. Here we go. Drill, screws, drill bit, screw bit. Drill, drill bit, drill, screw, driver, driver, driver. Let's go ahead and get the grill, the, the grill. Let's get the grill out. Let's go ahead and get the screws and the drill bit. And we'll get this thing attached to that board there and hopefully that'll provide a little bit more rigidity across this area. I may even actually lift this in the center with the support post so that I get it a little bit higher than flat and then it's uh, got a little bit more supporting capabilities. Well, there's one that went in pretty well.
feeling pretty hopeful about this. I think it might actually work. Well, we'll get a solid one all the way across the back side. Another one right across here in the middle. It'll be a real good help. And then obviously spacing the tin up so that it water flows away from it. That's probably gonna be the biggest help. All right, let's do the other side. I guess let's go weld some pieces together. We'll get the corners cleaned up and then uh, we'll get the town on welding. Well, I guess I'll get the flap disc after it and see what it looks like then. So I decided to go with the grinder wheel instead of the flap disc. See how the grind wheel works on these boogers. That should be all right. Got these two pieces welded up and ground down. I gotta say, turned out pretty good. I mean, they're ugly, but they're straight, which is an improvement for me. Went ahead and cut them off, and as you can see, I only needed about five or six inches past the original length, so that's really not gonna have too much stress on it, I don't think. I guess we'll find out. We're gonna slap them up there and uh, see how we wanna secure them. I need to get something that'll hold it up, like a handy-dandy support. And wow, that thought. So Emily brought up a good question. She was wondering, these steel supports that we're putting in, they don't go all the way over top of the sidewall studs. And for a real support, shouldn't they go across that so that they can transfer their weight to the sidewall studs? And the answer is yes. But that would require me to cut out the wood that's currently there. And I don't know what all is screwed into it. And I would have to make sure that I didn't accidentally cut through the roof. It seems like a lot more of a trouble than it would really be worth. So the majority of the weight is going to be transferred to the wood through all of the screws that we're putting in. The steel is gonna help the wood stay more rigid. And then we've also got these shelf brackets. We got these on Amazon, links in the description below. And the idea of this is we attach it to the sidewall right like that, and it supports the wood. And by supporting the wood, it also supports the steel. So this will provide a little bit more of a support mechanism for this steel support that we're putting in. But that's the idea, and that's the plan. Well, that's a lot less than what are packet do they use. That doesn't work. Look at that. Ain't supposed to, supposed to put a drill bit into a screw. That works better. It's pretty nice being able to use this. 
as a device to see what it looks like up there. I put a uh, new strip of sealant foam all the way around because the other stuff was all squished up from when we put this thing on. I was looking at the bottom here, trying to make sure that I know where it should be. And I think as close to the cutout as possible is where it should be. Because up here at the front, our cutout starts right where that bolt is. And if we had it too far forward, it's possible that our drain hole is actually draining on the inside of the foam. I think this will be better because it won't cause an issue with the foam. So now we got our foam right against the bolt holes. And that'll work better. A lot heftier. It still has a little bit of sag, obviously, but nowhere near the sag it had before. I like that. That's a lot better. I am much happier. Let's spray it with water again, see if it leaks. Before the water was coming through those bolt holes right there because it was getting into the drain pan and it's as dry as it was earlier let's go ahead and get the uh, wires re-ran okay let's go see what happens when we put the breaker on all right ready i probably have this uh brand new controller in the off position. That's off. Okay. That's fan. Fan. High fan. Low cool. High cool. I have this box in here backwards. Sorry for that cooling power. Let it make some uh, condensate, and then we'll check and see if it leaks. Well guys, got a new board, and we're gonna take this old board here, use it as a template to cut out the new one. Let's get started. We got a piece of project board foam we're gonna try and use for a little bit of insulation right there. That'll keep us from losing a little bit of heat at least. Supposed to do this. Can't hold it. Use your head, Emily. That one's hot. Oh, Let's get the air conditioner piece back up and get it turned on. It's hot. Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. We're gonna leave the cover off just to make sure we can keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't leak anymore. We'll bring it back if it does leak. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Get the grill, the, the, the grill. Will it fit, will it fit, will it fit, will it fit? I'm gonna wring out my insulation. Ah, Ain't supposed to put a drill bit into a screw. I'm a redneck engineer. Sometimes you just have to redo it.